in this session i have picked one challenge to solve today so this is the challenge add binary two strings okay what this challenge is all about we have two strings here okay a and b and what we have to return here is the addition of that two strings so here uh, on the left side as you can see we have a string and b string now the output of this should be the addition of these two binary numbers okay so i hope you know how to add the binary numbers let's revise the concept here suppose we have two strings here two binary numbers how we add these two binary numbers 1 plus 1 will be 0 and here it will be 1 1 plus 1 it will be 0 and 1 as a carry okay so in this way we add two binary numbers right as we have covered this concept in computer science how do we add this it will be 1 1 1 okay in this way we have to add these two numbers now what we are going to do here is we will write the code live in uh, for this challenge here in c plus plus okay so we have given the two strings here right suppose string a is one one and b is one okay how do we print the strings using c out okay we need one carry here to maintain the carry okay we need a result string result here now let's uh, get the length of these two strings okay so how do we get the length using the dot size function i hope you know the basics uh, we have to iterate through the entire string here one by one and uh, what we are going to do here is we will get this number one and this number and we will add that number and save the carry in the carry flag and the result in the result flag okay first we will add our conditions here okay if i is greater than equal to zero okay then we will take the sum variable here to add the two numbers okay here if i is greater than zero a of i minus zero this will be sum plus equal to now what this line is exactly doing we will discuss this okay let me first write this j greater than 0 okay yeah now here what what is happening here is the value of i here is a of size is 2 right the length of the variable a is 2 here what is the value of j here j is equals to b dot size the length of this string is 1 1 minus 1 will be 0 okay i is equals to 1 and j is equals to 0 now i is greater than 0 is i greater than 0 1 is greater than 0 yes or j is greater than equal to 0 yes condition is true now i is greater than equal to 0 1 is greater than 0 okay now here what is happening sum is equals to sum plus a of i a of 1 is what is the value at index 1 0 1 okay the so 1 is present here minus uh, why we are subtracting this character 0 with this number okay so here what is happening a of i is a string okay a of i is a string character and the sum variable here is an integer sum variable here is an integer and a of i is a string character so we need to convert this into the character and return it to the integer variable okay now what is happening here is the value of this uh, zero character here is in integer format is 48 okay and uh, the value of 1 is 49 and the sum here is indicating 
0 so 0 means 48 now what will be the answer here it will be 49 and the character value for this 49 is actually 1 okay so the answer here is 1 so the value of sum here now is 1 now same in case of this now sum is equal to sum plus sum equal to sum plus b of j what is the value of j here 0 b of 0 means the first value at index 0 is 1 okay so 1 minus now the ascii value for this uh, character variable is 48 0 and 1 denotes 49 and the sum here is 1 already right sum here is already 1 so it will be 49 so what will be the value of this it will be 50 okay now 50 denotes the value as 2 49 as 1 and 50 as 2 so to match the variables like this is an integer this is a character we have to subtract this and to use this in c++ we have the library here hash include algorithm without this it is not going to work so you you have to use this library algorithm and here we will store the value into the carry some value as carry now what happened here is we have taken the a's variable which is i which is 1 here and the b's value 1 we have added that value which has given us the result as 2 okay now we got the 1 plus 1 result but in binary format we have to represent this into the binary like 2 is represented with the value as 10 right 4 is represented as a value as 100 so in this way we have to convert this into the binary format this is a decimal number so to convert this we have to take the modulus of this actually sum modulus 2 so this is going to give us a result okay to append the value of this sum which is 0 here 2 modulus 2 will give us the remainder 0 so to make it as a string because result is a string so we have to take sorry because result is a string variable okay this is the final variable which we are going to display so here the value of result is becoming 0 okay and we need a carry here so carry will be given by divide okay carry here is now 1 sum is representing 2 2 divided by 2 it gives a quotient as 1 okay and we will decrement both the variables so that loop will continue for the rest of the digits also okay so let's run this loop again and see what is what we have written here so here value of a dot size a dot size is giving us the length of variable a which is 2 minus 1 1 b's length is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 now we are entering into this loop so here we have stored the carry inside the sum now the carry's value here is 0 for the first time now here i is greater than 0 1 is greater than 0 sum is equals to sum plus a of i i's value is 1 so a of 1 is giving us this value 1 okay and since this sum is an integer variable here okay and this a of i as you can see this is a string character so we need to convert we need to do some conversion here right so the value of 1 here is 49 and zeros value is 48 okay these are the ascii values so the final result here will be 1 because sums value is 0 0 will be represented by 48 okay in this way sum is equals to sum plus b of j what is the value of j here 0 b of 0 means it is it will give us 1 okay so 1 is represented by 49 and uh, 0 is represented by 48 okay and uh, what is the value of sum as we have added that sum here it is giving for 1 which is 49 so the final value here will be 50 which is represented by 2 okay 
so for better understanding i am writing this like this here now we got the result like 1 plus 1 2 but we have to convert this into the binary format for that we need the remainder and the carry so some value is 2 here 2 modulus 2 is giving us 0 right and sum divided by 2 2 divided by 2 carry will be 1 we got our 0 and the carry as 1 okay so in this way now the i's value will become 0 and j's value will become minus 1 okay now i is less than equal to 0 yes or j is greater than equal to 0 minus 1 this condition is false but this is true so it will become true now sum is equal to carry what is the value of carry it's 1 now okay sum is equals to sum is equals to sum plus a of i i's value is 0 so what is the value at 0 index a of 0 is 1 okay and minus what is the value of 0 in ascii format it's 48 so 49 and sums value is 1 so what is the value of 1 here this so the value here will become 2 and here j is greater than equal to 0 minus 1 is greater than equal to 0 condition is false so this will not get executed here now sum divided by sum modulus 2 so what is the value of sum it's 2 here 2 modulus 2 result again will be 0 now it's appending here right and this is a string so the value gets appended here the previous value was 0 and the new value will become sum modulus 2 as 0 so and the carry here will again will be 2 divided by 2 it will be 1 here and i's value gets decremented here it will become minus 1 it will become minus 2 so i is greater than equal to 0 no j is greater than 0 no so both the condition will get false and we get the result as 0 0 okay we will print that result here let's see we have to remove this to run the program we got 0 0 right so the result here is 0 0 but what will be the expected output here 1 1 plus 1 will become 1 0 0 right so here we have to write if carry is not equal to 0 then append it with 1 if carry is not equal to 0 append it with 1 okay now as you can see the we, uh, output is coming in a reverse order since we have added the result with plus equal to okay so what we have to do here is we have to reverse this reverse result dot begin result dot end okay so it has reversed the string into our original format let's see this let's test another values the expected output here should be this let's run the program okay 10101 you can add any number into this so this is how we have solved this challenge here i hope you got the concepts here i will try to bring the solution for these challenges also uh, we we also have the premium gold membership where we discuss all these challenges in detail and uh, if you get stuck while writing the code you get the solution in real time so if you are interested in learning these kind of challenges practically with the concepts if you are a beginner or feel stuck in writing the logic you can register on our website codesify.com and uh, you can join our live class so this was all about the challenge today folks signing off manish methani